I don't wanna overthink, so I should chill, watch a movie and drink. Look around, I don't see people who think anymore. More time. Welcome back to Tell Me More About It. It's your host, Larry and Burnham. And if this is your first time tuning in with us, welcome to our podcast. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or listening to this on a streaming service, we'd like to personally welcome you to our podcast. As you can see, if you're on YouTube, personal changes have been made. We are finally in a studio. Yep. The studio that we're in is called Smooth Studios. And um, I'm the owner of the studio. Last time you guys, we talked, you guys were witnessing my father and I build the studio. I'm happy to say it's finally finished. Here are some pictures of the studio. And if you guys are streaming this and you're not on YouTube right now, you can go there and you can actually see the pictures of the studio. Yes, sir. <laughs> Give it a second. Okay. So now we're going to start today's podcast. Vernon, before we start, do you want to say anything? Yeah. So I just want to say, Larry and I, we thought about this, what was it, two years ago? Yeah. Two, two years ago. We started out, I was on that phone, Larry was on his computer. You guys can go watch those on YouTube or go listen to them. And, I mean, we were just talking about this, and we had talked about don't give up on goals, continue to push, continue to push. Now, it took us a while, but here we are. And it all started with just us talking about this. So this should show you that if you want something and you just stay persistent and you don't give up on it, it may take a long time, but you can get there. So like this isn't it. something that just happened. We just didn't start out like this. We did 25 episodes. Yes, sir. Before even getting here. Mm -hmm. So that's just my two cents on where we've come so far. Okay. So our first segment of the day is advice of the day. The boy don't got no advice for y'all. <laughs> oh, when well, I'm at it. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up right now just because you're rocking with us. If you ain't rocking with us, whatever, we don't need you. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> and if you just like the video, I mean, give us a subscribe. We're always looking for new subscribers. But I think Bernie got some advice for y'all because I don't. So... Yeah, so I thought about this advice, and I was just thinking about before COVID started till now, what is the one advice that I think could help, or what helped me personally? And what I came up with, never question investing in yourself. Okay. And I said, because you'll be surprised at what you can achieve. So again, I never thought, I know Larry probably never thought we would be hosts on a podcast. I never thought that, man. I mean, never. And here we are. Here we are. I'm still, I still have a business. Larry, this is an entire studio <laughs> that he has now. It just shows that anything is possible. So take that advice and use it if you want or just listen to the rest of the podcast. Mm -hmm. All right. So there you have it. Um, the next thing we want to get into, our next segment, is what we've been up to. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this one first. It's all you. All right. So, honestly, what I've been up to is um, I've been working with... Okay, so I'm uh, a producer slash rapper slash singer, even though I can't sing, but I try to. And um, I'm basically, I'm saying I make music, and I love to be around it. So I've been working with a couple artists in my studio here and Smooth Studios, as well as working on a couple of my songs. Besides that, I've been watching this TV show called Friday Night Lights. No, we're not promoting you, but it's a good show. It is. Um, my man Vernon put me on it. And then besides that, I've been playing 2K. If you want it, you can get it. My um, at is right here. And um, also Rocket League. <laughs> That's what I've been up to. Rocket League. What about you, V? Yeah, so me, I've been up I've been up to a couple of things. So I know last time we were on here, I was just talking about how it's a struggle doing the business. So I'm a digital marketer. I own a digital marketing company. And it has been a struggle. I'm not going to say it's been easy, but we've made progress. We have some clients now. Things are moving. 
So again, I want to reiterate anyone out there that you feel like you're giving all effort 100% and you're not seeing the results that you want to see right when you do them, it's okay because you'll gradually get better and better and you learn. I have failed so much with this business, but I've learned from all of it. And that's why I'm starting to be able to get clients and improve our system. So it's just about not quitting. And as far as games and whatnot, I mean, everybody knows what I do. Larry knows. Rocket League heavy. My girlfriend. My girlfriend actually makes fun of me. Because really? I play Rocket League. I'm like, uh, Rocket League is a pretty big game. But <laughs> hey, it's free online for a reason, you know. That's, that's how popular it is. Yeah. So anybody that wants to challenge me at Rocket League, but you need to be below platinum. If you're above <laughs> platinum, you might beat me. I made it to diamond once, but that's just a little nerd burning right there for you. So here, here's his ad right there. So you can add him on Xbox. We do have Xbox. We wish we had PS5s. If you feel free, if, if, feel free to send us some money so we can buy a PS5. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Don't do that. It's all right. But yeah, that's about it. There's been a, by the way, what? Some of the people that may view this or listen to this, do you guys have cicadas? Boy, man, because we are dealing with it really bad, badly, badly. I mean, I just like Larry was saying this earlier before the podcast. There's probably people. Like, I'm saying big, they look tough, just look tough, that are screaming <laughs> in fear of these things. If you guys don't know what cicadas are, then you're lucky. You're not in an area where they appear. Boy. But the last time I experienced this, I was young. I was young, young. I, I vaguely remember it. I don't even really remember it, but they're nothing to be played with. I'll just say that. They don't hurt you at all, but they just look nasty. Man. I think that's what it is. Someone someone caught it, I think, on like social media, like flying sea fish. That's what it looks like, if you can imagine that. Yep. That's not a very good visual, is it? Oh, that's okay. All right, yeah. It's nasty. Just know it's nasty. Right. And if you live, like, say, Myrna and I both live by like, our house. It's surrounded by, not surrounded, but we have a couple of trees. We have, like, two trees by our house. It's for some reason, like, the cicadas love to be in trees, so... The moment you get out your car, it's like you're fighting to get in your house for your life. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But let us know, guys. Are you guys living by uh, cicadas? I'm actually genuine. I don't know where they are. I know. I heard they're like mid, middle, what? Midwest. Midwest and then like eastern, right? Um, the eastern. Was, I don't know. Who was somebody? Was, I, I don't know. Somebody hmm. said there was... Cicadas. Oh, you're also in Canada. Like, Are they really? Yeah, my, my guys up here online with them in Canada. It's some parts of Canada. Well. But I don't think they're in, for for some reason they're not in Michigan. I don't know why. That's, is it true, eh? A? <laughs> I'm not making fun of any Canadians, by the way. I don't know what you guys say. So, our last segment, we went. We, do, we just wanted to keep this video, guys, real short, simple, and sweet for you guys. Since it is our welcome back video. Welcome back. I told him I was going to do that. that that's, his new, that's his new ad lib, y'all. But um, the last segment is just we want to reiterate what this podcast is about and what we hope to achieve. I'm going to let V go first. Yeah, so if you guys, if this is your first time seeing our podcast, we would recommend you go back to one of the videos where we really talk about it. Now, it's not going to be, do. it's not going to be as good as quality as this. Cause again, this was a transition, but it'll Boy. tell you more, but I just quickly want to give an overview of what we're doing. So Larry and I were both entrepreneurs and though we may not, or though we may not have had the same path, we still are both entrepreneurs. Now, we got there different ways, mm -hmm. but we're still there. So what that shows you is, and, and keep in mind, we are both regular guys. Mm -hmm. We didn't come from anything extraordinary or have some insane talent. Or we just worked. Mm -hmm. And I feel, and this is another topic that we can get into, but it, it kind of describes what we want to achieve on the podcast is Figuring out what you want to do in life. Because I know for a lot of people, that's a big, big problem. Big. 
And in my experience so far, it's just trying something, testing it out, seeing if it works, trying something else, testing it out, seeing if it works. And eventually you start to figure out what it is that you want to do. But that's something that we discuss. Another thing we discuss is sometimes we'll talk about sports. So Larry and I both played sports. I know football, I only played till sixth grade. I was like, nah, I'm cool on that. Mm-hmm. That's a man's game. I'm, <laughs> I'm good on that. Yeah. But basketball. Not saying I ain't no man, but that's just something different. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I think you got to be a little crazy and want to play football, but yeah. to each their own. Now, basketball, Larry and I both have a lot of experience with that, and that's something that we enjoy. So we'll we'll talk about that as well. Well. So any of you that are in high school or whatnot, I mean, we could have some good conversations. You guys could hit us up in the comments and tell us your experiences on basketball because we could we could talk about that for days. We please, talk about this all the time. We do, almost all the time. So please do, guys, if you guys who are you just a fan of basketball, uh, you know, to talk to us. Yeah. And another thing that this podcast is, is we want this to be a positive community. Yes, we do. And what I've found on multiple occasions, just from talking to people that I'm trying to get as clients and just talking to people in general, a lot of people are going to say that you can't do something. And I thought it was cliche that, because I always heard yeah, you just got to ignore the people that say they can't do it because it's just some, or say you can't do it because it's just something that they're afraid they'll fail at. So they don't want anyone else to succeed because that makes them feel better. And as messed up as that is, it's true. Everyone around you, especially the more you focus on your goals and your dreams, a lot of the people are going to start being negative towards you, telling you, oh, you can't do that. That's not a real job, this and that. Mm-hmm. And Larry might not like me saying this, but I remember it. I think it was your, uh, was it your uncle or was it like a friend? About what, but recently? No, it was some. it was something in terms of, are you an entrepreneur or an entrepreneur? Um, who said, it might have been my uncle. Yeah, it was probably his uncle. Probably. Now, granted, he was trying to be funny. That's just one example. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was him, it was him. <laughs> But we didn't say his name. So we didn't. We could. You're, you're anonymous. But that that's something that most entrepreneurs deal with. I'm sure, Larry, you... How many people did you probably tell you, you can't do music, you never do oh, music? Oh, I've had um, uh, more, more than 10. I've had people laugh when I, when I tell them I want to be artists. I mean, and now he's a legit business. He's making money. People are coming to him to get help with their music. He's a professional at it. So that just shows you can be anything that you want to be. So that's another thing that we want to push. I'm going to just do one more so we can keep this somewhat short. No, you're doing good. Right, right, like 15 minutes, we're good. But we want more than anything, we want you to laugh. We want you to learn something. On this podcast, we want to give you a lot of free information. Exactly. Some, something that you guys usually you know, um, don't get or have a hard time finding because you don't know where to look well. Come here. We got you guys. Yeah. A lot of, just just tell us something that you want to know. We'll have a podcast about it, seriously. We will do especially yeah, especially if we know. Because what I've found in my experience is when someone knows something you don't, they want that money. Or they're not gonna say anything to you. Me personally, I'm not like that because I was that person that if I could have just had a little help for free, it, it could have taken me a long way, but I didn't. So I more so had to go the paid route, but if I can help you avoid that because you don't have the necessary funds to pay for that, then that's what I'm going to do. Because I want you to be on this podcast one day telling us how what we said helped you or impacted your life so that you can go and help someone else. Exactly. And when I started as an entrepreneur, I'm going to be honest, I was only thinking about myself. I wasn't really thinking about anybody else. I was like, dang, I can do this and... I can get clients, and I can go to this house, and I can do that. But to be completely honest, what makes me most happy is knowing that, especially keep in mind I'm a digital marketer, I'm able to help someone get customers so that they can help support their business and help pay for their family's lives, their employees' lives, and other people. That honestly 
is what makes me most happy. The, the money is okay, but money, I think I saw something where J. Cole said this. He said, money, you realize that even when you hit that goal, you're just going to want more. If you love money, he was talking about um, putting putting your like, your passion or what do you love because whatever you love, you're going to keep uh, yearning for. So if you love money, you can, you know, it's never enough, it's never enough, it's never enough. But if, but if you put money, if you put your value into family, um, your values, your morals, then you can be satisfied. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's how he said it. I can put a little snippet for you guys in here. Yeah, but that it's definitely true. But, I mean, we're going to talk about everything. So I'm going to keep it short and let Larry talk about what he wants to. But okay. I hope I didn't cover everything. I you covered care. everything for the most part. The only thing I, I just want to emphasize is, um, a com- you know, we're doing this to build a community. to um, So people can come here and express themselves freely, however they want to, and safely, however they want to express themselves. So, um, you know, we could also, in the future, might make a Discord, you know, just, but just to build a community. Like, it would be nice to hang, I think, I think it's nice to hang around people who are looking to, to achieve, achieve and strive for the same goals that I want. Though I think diversity is good too, but it's good to have people, you know, they're doing the same things that you're doing. So you can build up each other and inspire each other. Yeah. So, so yeah, community. Yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm telling you, if something seems hard to do and you're like, dang, this person is doing this, but I don't think I could ever do it, just know the only reason that they're able to do it is because they've learned something that you haven't learned yet. Think about that because that'll take it off the pedestal. So let's use J. Cole again. J. Cole is up here, mm-hmm. but the only difference between you and him is that he knows something. And now, again, I know people that are streaming couldn't see what I just did, but you can go to YouTube and see it. Exactly. But on this podcast, we we keep it real. We're just two regular guys. We don't know everything. Sometimes we'll give our opinion. But, I mean. And you guys can disagree or agree. Yeah. But on here, we will be giving life experience and things that we've dealt with. We'll talk about being a black man in America. We're, we're not going to hold back on this podcast. We're just going to be honest in the things that you deal with as a black man, the things that you could potentially deal with as a black woman that I personally don't understand. So maybe we could have someone on here to talk about that. Or, oh, yeah, I know. Some, <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, but it's not... The point I'm making is it's not just going to always be us. We're going to get people in here based off of what you guys want to see and also based off of what we just think would be a value to you. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you guys are ready. Because Larry and I have some ideas. Oh, yeah. we. The sheet is long. It's long of ideas. We got some ideas. And uh, hopefully nobody steals our ideas. (laughs) (laughs) If they they do, they do. We have a lot of stuff in the works. Just just remember where we are now. Because remember, I remember when I said this. I don't know which episode it was but i said look at where we are now we're doing this i I think we were doing it on zoom we're doing this on zoom it was Zoom. watch we're gonna be in a studio doing our podcast look at us exactly so spoke it into existence hey who knows what's next in our future yeah i'm saying this now we are going to take this as high as it can possibly go and we want you to join because if you have a dream and you want to achieve it and you just don't know how, come to us. Tell us what you need because we're living it right now. We're both entrepreneurs. We're going through it every single day. Exactly. We'll tell you. And we don't. We may not know how we're going to get to that dream, but we do know every day we're closer to that dream. Just a side note. My armpits are probably sweating, aren't they? Oh, you can't tell. No, you can't. But it's a little hot in here, but... We got That's because I turned the, uh, I got closed the vent so we can hear it perfectly. We already suffering for you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. So, um, that is, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. For the people listening, thank you for tuning in and listening for all 19 or 20 minutes. 
to my YouTubers out there watching it, please hit that like button if you were messing with this video. Uh, and subscribe to us, on subscribe to our channel. Um, that is today's episode. We got more stuff. Uh, we got bigger and bigger and better stuff coming coming shortly. Yep. I didn't want to forget about you guys that aren't on YouTube. You can leave us a review on whatever streaming service you're using as well. So we want to hear what you think too. So stay tuned. All right. Peace. See you next time. Can't help but think as kids, we just wanted each other. Friends turn to enemies, enemies to rivals, rivals to rifles. These people trifle with the wrong things. Now they lost. Santa's turning to Jack.